Okay, uh, I'm Jason Bodgeford, and we're starting a new segment here. Originally, uh, these guys wanted to call this um, Ask Botch. Uh, kind of made me sick to my stomach. Uh, I was nauseated with the idea of this hashtag uh, going out there, Ask Botch. They wanted me to tweet that. That made my skin crawl. So um, we're left with this, which is um, essentially the, the Pravi's report, and hopefully I'll be able to... Uh, like a, like a director on your Blu-ray, uh, go over what happened in the Pravis. And I'm going to try to uh, stay on topic. Uh, nothing drives me more crazy than being on podcasts, like here at the province, uh, where we're there to talk about hockey. And they start talking to me about children's books and stamps, uh, things I want nothing to do with, I don't want to talk about. If it's a 20-minute podcast, I want to be there, I want to be on topic. I. I even tuned into the the, the Pass It to Bulis, um podcast there. I like the Daniel Wagner and with all the tailwind that uh, Harrison Mooney had been getting. I'd, I was wondering, is this guy going to keep up with that whole asshole persona he had going? Uh, and uh, I tune in and the, they start talking about their favorite sketch uh, from Saturday Night Live the night before. Uh, I don't want to hear about these guys missing Bill Hader. I don't want to hear them talking about breaking down Sarah Silverman's uh, monologue at the beginning of it. Uh, imagine if I tuned into a TV Guide um, podcast or a comedy podcast and they start breaking down the Canucks power play. It doesn't work that way. Now, here I am being the asshole off topic again, so I should be back uh, on the Pravis. And, and I thought it was a good debut. We've, we've done all, one already. And the big punch I wanted was the, was the Ryan Kessler segment uh, in that one. And, um, you know, I, I kind of scooped myself in training camp because I, I let that story out. And there was a day I wanted to save it, but there was a day in training camp where I really didn't have another story. Uh, it kind of dried up, so I had to, I had to kind of go with that one, and uh, I kind of lacked the punch on, on day one uh, that I'd been hoping for. But uh, overall, I mean, people wanted me to go after Donnie Taylor because Donnie Taylor had been uh, apparently ripping the province for Canucks 101. I tuned into Taylor quite a few times. I didn't hear him ripping it. Uh, if he was ripping it, I would suggest that it was probably sour grapes that he wasn't included as being one of the panelists. Other people wanted me to get into the, my debate with P. Diddy there and, and Harrison Mooney getting fired and stuff and I did look into that. Um, you know what, I've seen a couple of things and Mooney's been through more than enough. He doesn't need me uh, going over that ground uh, anymore. Um, though people here at my job told me if I did what he did, I too would be fired and I just couldn't help but think that you know, I would love to try that. I'd love if this was 15 years ago and I was single because I would put that to the test right now. You know, you're gonna, what would you do? Who would do the Pravis? Well, I guess we'll find out next week because I'm away next weekend and we're going to find out who would fill in for me in the Pravis if I did what Harrison Mooney did and got fired. And that's your Pravis report for this week.